Kathleen. Before I even knew who you were, I was praying for you. I was praying for God to move in your life, to bring you joy and fulfillment and to guide you with a clear presence, and to shape you through trials and mistakes that don't destroy you, but reveal to you exactly who He created you to be. As God prepared you before we met, I promise to do the same for this moment forward in marriage together, to bring you joy and fulfillment, to hold you and comfort you, to lead you, to carry you, to show you grace and compassion, gentleness and warmth. Dear Hunter, all my little love letters have been leading up to this one. I'm trying to think of where to start and how to keep this short, but then again, there are no shortcuts. We tend to take the scenic route. <laughs> Not only do you understand the rhythm of my heartbeat, you have remodeled my heart and enabled my lungs to breathe in faith, joy, and love as an active verb. Love doesn't just sit around and feel, love does. <laughs> and you were the one who showed me that. You're full of purpose and promise and precious in the eyes of our Creator. I promise to be slow to anger, to love first, lecture later, to let you wake up in the morning and not ask you where do you see yourself in five years before you've had your coffee. I promise to not do anything before you've had your coffee. Love you. I promise to tend to your every feather so you can fly without fear, knowing you have a safe place to land. I promise to forgive as we fail and trust as we fall, to challenge you as well as myself to be our best selves. I hope our marriage is like a long conversation that always feels too short. Okay. Okay. What you got there? You, uh, I can see some of your feet poking out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I totally know you showed me up, but. You allowed me to be myself fully, and you loved a part of me I didn't know I was hiding. I invited you into my private treehouse. I had shown you all the pretty parts and the cool decorations. I knew I'd impress, but you shrugged, walked over the dark corners, picked up those parts of me that were scared and afraid and alone and ashamed, and said, you are what I've been waiting for. You are what I need. I love you. That's the kind of love you've taught me. Constant and persistent, unconditional love. I vow to love you for the man you are and for the man you are becoming, and to be your wildflower rooted in Christ. Love, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can officially kiss your bride. <laughs>
Oh, 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 oh,